Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we're here at the TM Forum's Digital Transformation World and I'm talking with Adam Pope, who is a CITO of Siena. Adam, welcome and thanks for talking to Telecom TV. Last year, Siena was a new exhibitor at TM Forum Live. A year on, what progress have you made in regard to customer engagement and what lessons have you learned? Um, what we've learned is that even though the service providers have common concerns and common problems as they're making their change toward digital service transformation and digital business transformation, they all start from various different points. And so our learning has been to really engage through a solutions-oriented approach and to very much in engage in the customer, empathize with the customer, bring our best technology to bear to deliver solutions that really meet them and their requirements as they make this transformation. Okay, so Sienna is talking about the vision of the adaptive network. What is that vision? What does it mean? And perhaps most importantly, how will Sienna's customers benefit from it? When we say adaptive network, it's really all based around the, ob the objective again for service providers to, to become more digital services providers themselves. And that means that the infrastructure needs to be more adaptive than it really ever has been before. It needs to be more automated. It needs to be more driven by data and analytics. So our adaptive network vision is, first of all, to introduce orchestration and automation capabilities into their operations to be able to automate not only the complex, but also the mundane and routine aspects of provisioning services and delivering great operational effectiveness. Also, to inform that operations automation through big data and analytics, and we've introduced a significant portfolio advancement in that area this year. And then finally, to have really the most programmable infrastructure you possibly can. With those three part, uh, parts of the puzzle together, we can help our customers really transform to become digital service providers, but also do so through an adaptive framework. Because one thing's for sure, even as we see the digital service providers today, three, four years from now, they may look, may look phenomenally different. And this ability to adapt and change and deliver new introducing, uh, new offers over time is what we think about adaptive network. Would you mind expanding on what you were just saying about how Siena has progressed over the past 12 months in developing its business and pursuing a strategy to deliver intelligent automation solutions? So Siena has had an outstanding portfolio for years in the area of automation and orchestration fundamentally. In the last 12 years we've realized that orchestration is necessary but not sufficient. Orchestration is a key aspect to delivering automation solutions. Automation, the difference between automation and orchestration has to do with policy, being able to introduce rules-based policy systems that take more of a programmatic approach to solving customers' problems in a more standardized manner. Introducing more standardized APIs is something we've also done. We've made a significant additional investment in our analytics portfolio, being able to ingest telemetry data at a rate that really is unprecedented. We've introduced machine learning algorithms and, and also applications on that Blue Planet platform that, uh, that do machine learning and, and prediction, if you will, of service disruption. So from a portfolio point of view, it's been a pretty active year. We announced at ONS this year that we've incorporated the, uh, some aspects of the, the ONAP policy framework, and we did that to provide even greater level of policy control into our automation portfolio. And probably most importantly is we've focused our business now on a set of uh, practices that engage with our customers. And those practices are from network automation to IT transformation and operation. These are separate organizations within our solutions delivery organization. Uh, serv new services monetization is the third practice that we have. And finally, we have a specific analytics practice. And with those four practices engaging with our customers and that portfolio, we've really been able to move the conversation and also our, our, our success for our customers onward. And finally, Adam, can you tell us which areas of the Siena portfolio have changed and advanced over the past 12 months? Yeah, by taking this approach of being more solutions oriented, the, uh, the portfolio advancements that I think I mentioned, you know, the, the policy framework, analytics, and what have you, but the solutions practices have allowed us to now create uh, quick start solutions that we now take to our service provider customers. Service providers have common problems, but they don't all start from the same point of view. But those common problems can be codified into quick start solutions using our automation platform, our intelligent platforms. And, and so we've now delivered a set of quick starts for ethernet provisioning, mobile backhaul, uh, layer three VPN, cloud interconnect and what have you. So the, the, the evolution has really been around our engagement model and providing quick start solutions based on our software platforms. Adam Pope, thank you. Thank you.